So, anyways, the system is comprised of several pieces. Uh, the first piece is obviously the laser. Now, the laser is hanging from a rubber band attached into a speaker head, speaker phone, which is just hanging here. This, this weird, funky construction is actually glue stick pulled with lighters. So, a, any way to attach the uh, the speaker up to a wire, and then I like to put it on a balance like this. But uh, you can just connect it directly up to a solid foundation if you like as well. Now, of course, I don't have a water pump, so what I've done is I've built a makeshift little water tower. And out of the water tower comes a tube that comes down and shoots it up onto the screen. Now, the nozzle of this tube is actually attached to a speaker. So that's the first place, I guess you could say, the music goes in. Or there's two places. One is up here, which causes a resonance of vibrations in the laser. Uh, it's also got a stabilizing wire here that runs off over here, just to prevent it from twisting. So we get this kind of bouncing around effect. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's very little effect with the music playing so well. So anyways, it just kind of bounces it around a little bit of music. Then down here, the water is sprayed with the music vibrations in it. So it affects the pattern and the, the, bouncing, uh, the bouncing off the mirror, and it affects um, uh, also the distance, because when the vibrations are on, some droplets will go further than the average would have before. So they, it creates this region that's sensitive to music. You want to try to find one of those regions that exists kind of around, the late, around where the water hits. Uh, because when there's no music, it'll just kind of sit at one spot. And then when there's music, it's bouncing around. So all those regions are your sensitive regions. And then uh, that, that's slanted very, very vertically to let stuff drop off very quickly. And then uh, it drops down to a second mirror here that's slanted horizontally much more to prevent to allow it to drop much more, uh, fall off much more slowly. And then uh, it just bounces up onto the wall. And then my excess water is dripped off into a, a tray system, which I then refill the buckets with, etc., etc., doing it manually because I, I don't have a water pump on hand. So, anyways, uh, this is a, this one I like to call rainy day because it basically creates two masks. You can't see with the light off. A light on, but uh, there's the first mask is this layer here with the water spraying on it. It's very active and quick. And the second mask is droplets. They're not that visible, especially with the camera. But when the when you're using your eyes, you can see them very clearly. Actually, there's little droplets on the screen. It's kind of like it's raining on a a piece of glass. It's very nice, and it also reacts to the music. The 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 true goal is to get an active region here and an active region here on the lower mirror. Find out where the droplets usually go when there's no music, and then try to have it hit both active regions on the way through, so there's more reactivity to the music. And then, the fact that it moves around while the music's bouncing it allows it to be more music reactive. So there's, there's essentially three elements of music reactivity. One, the laser moves around. Two, the water is sprayed onto the, the mirror. And three, the bottom mirror. And I wouldn't even be surprised if the vibrations from the speaker are getting through the mirror and affecting how the water, when the water decides to let the surface tension break down and fall down. Uh, so it, it could kind of build up and then when it's certain... Completely forgot to mention in the video what this is for. Um, on the counterbalance over here, I've got a Kwaidza, a Chinese chopstick. And uh, by tapping it, it's like a, an, a booster on the, the move around the laser effect, which also just throws the whole system after it into a, a bit of chaos. But uh, So you'll tap it, and then what will happen is the resonance of the music will kick in and start to adjust it to the beat very quickly. So uh, you, it's basically a manual uh, DJ tap over, over top of the system. So you could be listening, and then you decide you want to boost it, and boom. And it'll still kind of slide back into the rhythm. Um, the other thing is, by adjusting where the laser is going, you can really affect the uh, reactivity. As you can see, by moving the laser around, you can see the reactivity of it to the music is uh, quite affected. Some areas are very reactive, some areas less so, some areas not at all hardly. So you, uh, I, I've chosen some areas that I like, but there's all the different points on the mirror produce different types of effects. And then you might even want to try to build in a second motor that spins around or a jumper or something to sit here and tap this to the beat, which would really get it going.